Despite spending more on health care than any other country, America continues to have the highest maternal mortality rate compared to other wealthy nations. Now new abortion bans are limiting women's health care options even more. CBS's Elise Preston goes in-depth to look at the problem and possible solutions. I got you. Charles Johnson is trying to fill the void for his two sons, but the loss of their mother, Kira, in 2016 is too deep. Kira was robbed. When I see these boys and how amazing they are, it's bittersweet. It was supposed to be a routine C-section. The doors to the operating room opened and they closed behind Kira. Kira, that's the last time I saw her alive. In the U.S., at least 3,000 mothers have died during childbirth since 2016. 12 of the states that have the most restrictive abortion laws also have maternal mortality rates above the national average. Nationwide, black women are three times more likely to die during pregnancy. I'm as terrified as the people that I take care of. Survival beyond pregnancy is the least of what we deserve. OBGYN Dr. Jamila Parrott says the blame goes beyond women simply having access to quality care. How do we get to black women dying at a rate three to four times? We didn't get her overnight. I'll tell you that. There's lots of evidence, lots of research that shows black women are treated differently when we seek care. We're not listened to in the same way. We're given a different level of care, a lesser level of care. I got to say, looks like it's peppy. Johnson is now sharing his wife's story to help other vulnerable mothers. Every time I share my experience, it's extremely painful. It's literally the worst thing that's ever happened. But my hope is that by telling the story, it will help prevent what happened to our families from happening to other families. Elise Preston, CBS News, Smyrna, Georgia.